You guys thought I was lying about the orange, but here, exhibit A, bone apple tea. Everyone's giving me faces in this room, but don't judge until you've tried it. What's up GQ, it's Justin H. Min, and today I'm going undercover on the internet. Dun dun dun. It's actually me. I need a password for this. Let's do it. Twitter. Variety tweets, best known for his work as Ben Hargreaves in the Umbrella Academy, Justin H. Min will next be seen in the titular role in the film After Yang, playing a robot family member. At Mia Bear 713 that responds with first a ghost and now a robot. I swear Justin never plays any characters that are actually alive. Yes, Mia, you're correct. For now, I have uh, been fortunate enough to play some very interesting characters and serendipitously, they both happen to be dead. Now for the next phase of my career, I would love to play characters that are breathing and alive. That's the next step, I think. At Liz Simping tweets, guess who's seeing after Yang tomorrow? And to that, at Spin Staz with two Zs responds with, we got about two more seconds before Justin H. Min is at the top. I bet this was a dream roller. Wonder what his dream role is. Not sure why I'm reading the tweets like this. Apologies. This was absolutely a dream role. Code Nada is a dream director of mine. I've been a fan of his visual essays. And so when I got the script in my hands and had the opportunity to audition, I was just, just so thankful, even for the chance to audition. And then when I heard I got the role, I mean, wow. Next, there are two photos of me eating an orange. <laughs> My goodness, does he really eat the peel first? Good fiber, I guess. Absolutely. With every fiber of my being, pun intended, I eat the skin with the orange. It gives you, you know, a bit more of that zest. And also, who has the time to peel fruits? So I'll just eat it. It's the easiest way. No, but I'm seriously, try it out. Try it out. It's good. Reddit. I'm seeing a photo of me and uh, a shrine of some sorts. It's actually titled the Justin Min Shrine. Interesting. Is there a specific reason why he signed a can of Bush's baked beans? I signed them because I was asked to sign them. Someone came up to me and, and asked me to sign this can of beans. And why not? You know? Why not sign beans? Why not sign fruit? Why not sign anything? Anything is signable. And uh, apparently it became part of the shrine. So hats off to you, baked beans. At frogs are bitches. Why are you so mean to frogs? They're not bitches, they're quite kind. So there was a scene that showed Klaus realizing, reacting to the fact that Ben is gone and they cut it. Why? Was there a scene like that? I th there could have been. I did think that it was a bit odd that there wasn't a larger scene that addressed that because obviously Ben and Klaus had the closest relationship. But who knows? You might see some of that answered in the next season. In season three, is there only going to be the evil Ben? I assume you mean Sparrow Ben, and I think it's a bit presumptuous that you're saying he's evil. I mean, you've known him for what? all of five seconds. Maybe he's a good guy. Maybe he was just having a rough day. Please don't judge until you see him. And yes, you are gonna be seeing more of that guy in season three. It was such a pleasure and joy to film this new version of Ben, especially after playing a different version of Ben for the last two seasons. And uh, I hope you guys uh, love him as much as you love the other Ben. I have a feeling you won't, but <laughs> uh, try. Wikipedia. He then attended Cornell University where he served on the student assembly as the minority liaison. He graduated from the school's College of Arts and Sciences in 2011 with degrees in government and English. How do they find this out? This is true. It's also very embarrassing. I apologize to Cornellians across the world. I will try to do better. And yes, I did serve on the student assembly as the minority liaison. I, one of my biggest initiatives was to help bring more Asian American classes and courses to the campus. And yes, I studied government and English. Do I use those today? 
No. He is fluent in Korean and is the second cousin of Ashley Park. Yes. 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 Justin Min입니다. 지금 GQ 인터뷰. 인터뷰. I think interview is interview in Korean. And absolutely, I am a second cousin of Ashley Park. Fun fact, we actually only found that out a couple of years ago. Her family moved away and so we sort of lost touch. And it was only in the last couple of years that we've been able to reconnect. And uh, I'm so happy for her success. It's so crazy that we're both in this industry. I'm glad I get to do it with family. Cora, how would you rank the Umbrella Academy Netflix series kids on their intelligence on a scale of one through seven? Luther, one. Diego, one. Allison, three. Klaus, one. Five, five, six. Seven. Seven. Six. Who is the most powerful character in Netflix's The Umbrella Academy? If we're talking figuratively, the, the award definitely goes to Reginald Daddy Hargreaves. I mean, the amount of trauma that that man has inflicted upon his children. It's the reason why we're all dysfunctional in the first place. YouTube. Ever thought what would happen if Ben became a person again? Ben and Klaus spent every second together, so Klaus would become lonely. And then, he's seen everything through Klaus's perspective, so life ain't gonna be easy for him. I don't think he sees everything just through Klaus's perspective. I mean, he observes the world as is, so in many ways, he's grown up alongside Klaus. So I think if he were to become a person, he would be perfectly fine on his own as would Klaus. And at the end of the day, they're still family, so they would still see each other. They'd probably just be roommates. Doesn't he give the vibe of a brand new human who just landed on Earth and is learning as he goes? <laughs> Honeybee responds, that's because he's a Pisces. You know what? I feel seen through that comment. I actually do. I feel like I'm just getting the hang of things. John Hargreave says, why is he my favorite human? I wonder if he has any hidden talents. None. None, John. Simply the Beast says, I want to know what it's like working with Colin Farrell, especially for Justin. Dream come true. The first time I met Colin Farrell was at a fitting. I accidentally walked into his dressing room where he was getting changed. He looked me dead in the eyes and said, you're beautiful. My knees got shaky. What a way to meet someone, uh, especially to Colin Farrell. I was absolutely honored. He was one of the most generous, kind-hearted actors to work with, and it was a masterclass to watch him on set every day. All right, how about Instagram? Any good book recommendations for a starter from Zath20 and Croc period Adil? Mr. Justin, please, what are your favorite books the public needs to know? I love, love reading. I love reading more than books. Books. <laughs> I love reading more than people. I love books more than people is what I meant to say. You know, interestingly enough, I usually really love fiction, but I've been on this sort of nonfiction self-help kick for the last couple of months. I'm not sure why. I just finished Atomic Habits by James Clear. I think it's a really great book and it really helps change habits in your life uh, in a way that's sustainable, in a way that will really work. Because I know uh, for me, it's, it's hard to break bad habits sometimes and hard to pick up good ones. Glittery Raindrop says, are you implying this is going to be your last season? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Do you think that they would try to kill me for a third time? Maybe, who knows? <laughs> in Rocio underscore A, says, what do you do to be pretty every day, Justin? <laughs> that's, that's very kind of you. Um, I don't know. Stay hydrated, put sunscreen on, be thankful for things, and be a nice person. I think that's what will ultimately make you a pretty person. Okay, GQ, that is it. I am signing off the internet and probably signing back in in about three minutes. <laughs>